Hey guys, it's Luke here from Locked In Off Road with the Game Changer Zook. Just going to run you through some mods that we've done over the last couple of weeks to the old girl getting it ready for the cape. Let's go. Or as Jim would say, let's go! <laughs> first mod I have done is a three cake roller carby. So it bolted straight on, no dramas at all. I just had to make some custom studs on the manifold and everything else was fine. I cut up the uh, accelerator bracket and everything's sweet. Runs great, just need some new jets because it's running a little bit rich, but we'll do that soon. Then the most game changing mod of all Mankind happened two weeks ago. Roll footage. <laughs> so tonight we're going to make a through bonnet patrol style snorkel setup on a budget because the Zook is all about budget. All on, all on kind of. Yeah. So what I have thought is uh, I needed a circular airbox and I needed some pipe which we're using in the tray there, Jed. Some mild steel exhaust pipe, which we're gonna paint black. Nobody's because gonna know. they're gonna know. In all honesty, no one will ever know. How would they know? The next ingredient for our circular airbox was a D22 Navara airbox. And that seems to fit pretty all right, so we're gonna make it work. Safety first. Mark's marked it up, his namesake. Mark does the marking. He marked us everything actually. I just yeah. got the 75mm hole saw bit. Smashed it through that. This I didn't buy. What what is this? 80mm. An 80mm dropper. Dropper. That's what it's called. I'm guessing out of a downpipe or something. Yeah, it's a downpipe. Well that's gonna go through this hole. Nice and snug. Put some sicker around it, push it through, clamp it on, and that's what comes out into the snow. Sounds good to me. Butter chicken in his beard. Anyway. Oh, I won't sicker it yet because we'll be Broke my camera. moving it around. Oh my! Oh! Smash it through the windscreen or what? I don't have a hold of this, eh? Mark, quick grab it. I'm holding the camera, mate. I can't do things. What? As soon as you guys realise that, about. So just ignore this, Mark. Listen to that, Mark, sometimes. And we're going off this, Mark. <laughs> you reckon? It's definitely not going to be too big. I promise. Should have took the bonnet off when I painted it, but. Nah. Why would you do that, Luke? Why would you try and do anything? For... Oh. There you go. Let's get jiggy with it. I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bank roll, bank roll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bank roll, bank roll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Told her if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? Yeah, it's get Jeff out of four year beer, lad. Like She's good at it. Some awesome. stuff with some tin snips. And you got some angulation, angular, angular triangulation on the oblong. You only climb me, I put the ladders up. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the Alright, so we've cut the hole. We got that exactly where we need it. Yep. Needed a couple adjustments. Mark's no onto it, mate. Doing. He's got no idea what he's doing, but he's making it work. He's watched so many YouTube videos. He's been dreaming of this for about three and a half years, ever since we got a GQ patrol for five hundred dollars. He's always wanted to we do a bonnet exit snorkel. And, and, and Everything is on me, oh you matter what I'm 
All right, so that's looking not the bad, good size. Ding. That's lined up with the air box. We're just gonna. Lucky someone's not drinking. That's all I'm gonna say. Slide my fingers around there. Not me fingies, he you said. Nah. Why can't you just say, "Do you want gloves, young oh, sorry, Mark?" You so we do. Cut. We need You're to cut more out of the top. Big time. No, not too much. But that that's neat. That actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> that's where you put the lobsters out here, mate. Lobster back all the way up. Do you want the lobsters up? for the world to see, don't you? you lobster. No, 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 no. Dog. What is wrong with this guy? I'm trying to f your video. Shepo, you need to fix your hair up. You f it. <laughs> put your comb over back. As soon as I'm married, I don't need to do it anymore. My name's Jed, not alright. I'm Australian, but f me dead. Righto, dingo. The dingo stole me, Mark! What's wrong with like, what? so too much Russian vodka? The dingo stole my Mark. You'll be trying to f invade us. Oh, he's had a zip, mate. This is the first zip you've had in quite that, a while. Honestly, it's that's probably. Good. That's probably. Wait, that is strong. That's, this is that's what? probably weak because he's running out. He's I trying to conserve it. Oh, bro, he poured mine, so it's all good. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Silicon? <laughs> and after. Oh. Installed a stainless steel snorkel, fully stainless. Just do not scratch it, otherwise the stainless might rust. So we've, well, not me, our main man Mark Lofts over here <laughs> from Sexual Industries Fabrication has been kind enough to sponsor us for our Cape trip, and uh, he's also made us a stainless steel snorkel. So he's welded stainless steel to steel. I didn't think that was possible, but he's done it. And um, we've run it down into a really nice Navara air box that um, we've also put blue glue around to seal it up because I run it over. Lobster bends. We've also got one hose clamp holding it all together. We've got nothing holding it actually in place except for the piping. That was, we're going to sort that out. And, and this is it, the snorkel. Yeah, I'll shut the bonnet if you like, Jed. Yeah. Through bonnet. No, I haven't even done it yet.
Alrighty, oh, next, I've installed a King's touch pad switch panel. Obviously, you can put all your stuff in here. You only need one cable. As long as you've got a neutral of your battery, it's just one cable here, and it all goes through this little mesh loom into the touch pad, which is just here. So, uh, this is my King's touch panel that I bought from King's, obviously. And, um, the reason I really, really like this is because all you have to do to wire anything up in the car is put that one positive wire into here. And it's all fused and it's all through a relay. And then... This is the other side of the panel. All my lockers and then that is pretty much everything we need to run on a switch the next mod we've done is install Suzuki Bellino GTX bucket seats for comfortability up the Cape along the PDR we thought we weren't gonna survive on our standard busted seats so we decided to put these comfy boys in they come with a seat pocket to put the ARB compressors and stuff like that in. We've also installed an ARB compressor in the back, which has two solenoids for front rear lockers. ARB lockers, not tray lockers, because we don't need to be sponsored by tray. <laughs> you better put this in the video. <laughs> Uh, we've also, we've also, we've also painted the floor and taken out the vinyl. I've painted it with Raptor and I painted it black because the white was getting dirty. And uh, that will just now be a thing that when I come home from big trips, I can just hose it out and not care about it. And I'm leaving the bungs out so everything just falls through the floor. And that's it. So, uh, oh, we've also put a UHF in. Sorry, Jed. Put a UHF in. We're blacking out the badge tonight. And that's it. So uh, stay tuned for uh, more to come because there will be a lot more to come before we head up the Cape. Cheers. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hello. It's Luke Shepard from National Tiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How are we doing? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. Click the link here or in the description. Check out some of those videos. And remember, stay locked in. Thank you.